Hey, it's your guy Tyrell back with the interviews. Uruguay, Egypt, Uruguay win it at the death, but what took them so long? Why did they struggle and how did they encounter so many issues without Mo Salah playing? Don't worry, here at the interviews, we've got you covered. So on this edition of the interviews, we're gonna briefly break down why Uruguay struggled against Egypt. So when we break down Uruguay against Egypt, we have to look at the late goal. Obviously, Jimenez won the game late, but what took so long for Uruguay to get this game going? Why did they have to save until late? Where was the problem? When we break it all down, we have Uruguay in a 4-4-2, Suarez and Cavani up front on the flanks, Nandez and Derocheta. In midfield, you have Vecino and Bentancourt. Egypt, obviously the big story, they were without Mo Salah. Up front, it was Mozin, just in behind them, Warda, El Said, and Trezeguet, and in midfield, Hamed and El Nani. Now you have to think, obviously, without Mo Salah, how are they going to score? They didn't really have many chances throughout the game, a few half chances that were, that were possibly scrambles around the box and just shots weren't hit properly. And then they had two counterattacks in the second half that didn't really amount to nothing, but the warning signs were were there. You have to give Godin and Jimenez credit. They were superb on the day. The Atletico Madrid center backs that brought their form from club to the national team and they were superb once again. But we have to look at Uruguay from an offensive standpoint. And what went wrong here? Well, when we look at it, 4-4-2, narrow 4-4-2. The wide players come in centrally, more like creative players. They have heavy reliance on the fullbacks to get forward, to provide the width, and then you kind of have Suarez and Cavani playing off each other in a tandem. The problem here was that Egypt were superb without the ball, dropping also into two narrow banks of four, and that was pivotal. They had Mosin obviously pressing from the front. El Said did do some work as well, pressing Vecino, and then there were times when they had El Neni push up forward to Benton Kerr to ensure that he couldn't dictate the tempo of the game from deeper positions. So when you have that there, they just have a solid base. Hamed was superb, breaking up play in the first half, ensuring that they won the ball, spreading the play well. They were getting forward but they lack that extra bit of quality. That's where you possibly miss Mo Salah. Besides that, defensively, they were superb. Just keeping compact when balls went out wide to the fullbacks in Caceres and Varela. The wide players pushed out. They ensured that they couldn't really get crossed into the box. And Suarez and Cavani strive for service there in wide areas. Then you look from a central midfield standpoint, Vecino... Vecino and Benton Kerr couldn't re really play passes through the lines, and that was pivotal. They were picking up the ball in deeper positions. They were being pressed when they got on the ball, and they didn't really impact the game from that aspect. So a lot of all, a lot of it was down to Suarez and Cavani. When you look at it, Cavani in the first half dropping off a bit deeper, moving out to the flanks to try and get on the ball. Great link-up play, pushing out the ball wide to the channels to get the wide players involved. They couldn't break through anything there. And when you really look at it, um, Uruguay's best chance stemmed when Diego Godin moved forward from center back and to try to play Diaz Arrocheta into half space. And that didn't really work out for them in the left channel. But changes need to be made. Oscar Tabras did do that. He brought on Sanchez. He brought on Rodriguez. But what we can really take from here is that if they don't have those direct players or if the wide central players in Nandez and in Adir Arsheta are not really clicking, this is all about Suarez and Cavani. We saw that here, two world-class center forwards. We know what they like to do. They're so intelligent. If one drops off deep, one is looking to spin in behind and vice versa. And we saw that throughout the game. It stems just from the second half. A long ball into the box. Hagazi nods it into Cavani. First instinct played into the space behind Hagazi for Suarez. However, his shot was denied. The keeper came off his line quickly to make the save that was an opportunity there was the opportunity where Suarez with his back to goal holds off his marker knots into Cavani he fires a volley on goal but it's saved once again 
There was another opportunity where Rodriguez was a bit central and Bentancor was actually able to push forward and played into Rodriguez who then found Cavani at the edge of the box and that Suarez running in behind the defenders into the box but he's unable to round the keeper. You just look at the opportunities that they had. Cavani created some great chances for Suarez. Suarez was poor on the afternoon around the box. He, there was some good work that he did do when he dropped deeper and looked to play other teammates in but it wasn't a vintage Luis Suarez performance. Cavani all he was missing was the goal and then Uruguay once again and it's been the theme of this tournament late goals set pieces but Uruguay are very good at this they have so many aerial threats Jimenez won the free kick Jimenez won the header to score the goal Uruguay get the job done when you look at it going forward that was a vital win for them but are they going to stick with this act the starting 11 are they going to introduce possibly Rodriguez or Sanchez into the starting lineup next game because they did have an impact there was more drive down the flanks sure they didn't always hold a wide position but there was more vertical running you didn't really get that from Diarrocheta or Hernandez and that could be pivotal maybe this is just a bad game for them do we see Lucas Torreira at any time in this tournament so many questions to ask they have to think about it because here Egypt sat deep they were compact they were organized and Uruguay didn't have any ideas besides combining off Suarez and Cavani which is a good option but it's not going to win you the World Cup and what about Egypt can they do this without Mo Salah will he be back was he the difference here if he had played would they have won the game let me know what you guys think meet me in the comments below don't forget I upload videos every day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that was your daily dose of the interviews